Hey everybody, welcome back to Thronebreaker. Uh, so the way I understand things so far is that uh, we were traveling here with uh, Raynard. We kind of put our son Prince Willem in charge of this area with the help of Caldwell, but that wasn't going very well. And then kind of suspiciously Caldwell rides up to us uh, to meet us on our way in here, which is kind of weird because we're like, if everything's going good, you wouldn't come to meet us. And so we're kind of getting to the bottom of what might be going on in this area. Uh, but let's carry on and push forth. We might have some stuff over here. Oh yeah, this uh, this wagon. And I think we should probably keep scouting. It seems to pay for itself. And I don't see any reason why we wouldn't want to be scouting. And we'll just keep doing that as often as we possibly can. We'll make sure we talk to these guys too, because we're learning a lot. And sometimes they give us goods. Can't complain about that. It also seems like we'll circle up and around back here, which is something we scouted earlier, but we didn't have access to it. So we'll likely take a, a trip down this way. The main path is over here, so we kind of want to investigate the north section as well. Uh, maybe that's what we'll do first. Let's just see what happens when we get to the... the cut here. A peasant cart. Loaded with a heap of hay came rattling down the road from the opposite direction. Clear the road! Bellowed Count Caldwell, standing in his stirrups. Make way for your queen! The peasants obediently turned their cart into the roadside nettles. As she passed, Meave glanced towards it and froze. Atop the hay bale lay a badly wounded man gripped by fever. The thick, sweet stench of rot wafted from his bandaged legs. Gods! Who did this to him? Meave asked. Bandits? Nay, milady, replied the cartman. Twere a beast. Okay. Out to the east, down Wetterton Way, lies beast a of the east. Old as the elves, they say. The peasant continued. Clerton was setting snares round about there. Came running back to us, drenched in blood, rattling on about a long-haired wench come climbing out a grave. Oh. Who's taken him to the good sisters of Melitale here on bridge. Perhaps they can help him. I'm certain they can. And will. Replied the Queen. Though just looking at the wounded wretch, she knew he'd expire before nightfall. God speed you on your journey. The Queen whistled, and her mare resumed its trot. Shall I send for a witcher, Your Grace? Yes. Well asked. <laughs> yes. One of those freaks should make short work of the monster. Do Until it. we apprehend the bandits, I shan't allow a single soul to leave our company. Even on such an important mission as finding a witcher. Meave replied. Any who did would be captured at once. Damn. <laughs> but, if fate brings us near Wetterton, perhaps we'll see to this monstrous Harridan ourselves. Your Grace, we've only just fought beasts and scarcely escaped with our lives. <laughs> this she-beast will take a silver sword. Magic formula. Yet a dozen arbalists will have to suffice. The Queen said, calmly but firmly. And please, Caldwell, do stiffen your spine a bit. Now onward. This is unbelievable. I love this, man. Here ends oh, here ends the main part of the tutorial. From now on, you're on your own. All right. All right. That's awesome. Okay, so they said it was out east. Now, I don't think we have any, like, markers or anything like that. Uh, but let's head north. Let's have me do a scouts thing here. Oh, so it seems to just blast the area around us. Um, awesome. Okay. Uh, wait, we actually might have this here. It's really easy to miss this stuff, but... The rewards for finding it... I think... Managing these resources and getting as many cards and upgrading cards as much as we can, like, it's gonna be... Really important to get... Name as much of an advantage as possible. To the gods. You shall be rewarded. Melitale watches over us all. Yet you do well to remind her through supplication. There is ever time for prayer, even as war rages all around. Pleased to see ye yearn for the holy word, my lady. I'll keep ye in my prayers to the mother goddess. Just like that. Okay, so she's boosted our morale. Kneel and pay homage to the gods. Let's see if there's any quests here. We got new markers, some battle on this side. A locked item. Loot, point of interest. Whew, yes. Oh, 
What's going on up here? Traveling the high road, they heard the bells of a temple to Mother Melitale, situated at some distance. Meave turned towards Reynard. What have we today? A sacred feast? Not that I recall, Your Grace. The Queen's brow darkened. Her hands clenched into fists on her reins. Then they sound the alarm. Follow me. Stained glass shards glinted in the grass. Bits of down ripped from quilts wafted through the air. The priestesses gathered in the yard were seeing to wounded pilgrims, setting toppled, oft beheaded or armless statues back on their feet. What happened here? The strays of Sparla fell upon us. Sighed the prioress. Stole the offerings, the monstrances, holy books. My lady, I implore you come to our aid. Recover what's rightly ours. Ever clever, Meave scouts soon discovered the bandits' tracks. They led to some thick hazel groves east of the temple. The perfect place to hide or to lie in ambush. Yeah, seems like there's a lot of problems out east. It's all come clear now. Sabotage. It was the bandits who weakened the walls. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, so the bandits weakened the walls, that's confirmed. Uh, we could have guessed that that was most likely the case. A uh, lot of problems out east, it seems. The good mother warned us. Hard times lie ahead. The good mother warned us. Okay, so we're gonna have to be quite careful. Let's check out the corner here. And then we'll see what's up north as well. Looks like... There's a gate, but... We've got another signpost here. We've got a little bit of a graveyard back here and some type of puzzle. Oh boy. Monastic Cemetery. <laughs> cool. Okay. Buckle up. The Sacred Cemetery has had... has once been an oasis of peace, a place of prayer, reflection, and meditation. Alas, necrophages now scuttle among exhumed graves. The human bones litter its grounds. The priestesses believe the beast's sudden appearance heralded some impending woe. Yet in what form, what fate awaited Lyria and its people? Weaken each enemy to one power. Okay. So it's a shortened battle. We just need to get them down to one power. Now what do these guys do? When they're deployed, they spawn a base copy of this unit. And Death Wish, they damage all units on the row by four. But if we kill it, uh, then we... Ignore this, which we can't do. Damage unit by the number of cards on this row. Play a copy of each adjacent unit from your deck. Spawn two light infantry on the right. And then return an ally from the battlefield to the hand. Okay. Death wish damage a random enemy by five. Order, move to the other row. This is going to be interesting. Give me a time. So if we damage... Let's just see. It might take us a little bit of experimentation. Because they're not doing anything. It's just a matter of playing our cards in the right order to get these guys all down to one. Now, if we bring out this guy, we spawn if two more insist. copies of these. Laria! This should damage five. So he's down to one. This should damage six. One bullet. So he's down to one. Now we need to deal four damage somehow. So 
So if we use a decoy, this is an old school card. We return something back from the battlefield to our hand. If we play another one of these, it's too much damage. So that won't help. And it would be the same as if we were to bring him back. Because we'd be playing another one again. So if he's out, one, two, three, four, five, six, when we play that, the next card would be too strong. What about the War Wagon? Death Wish, two, I don't know what the Light Infantry do. Carny vettles. Hungry like a wolf I am. Hmm. That's kind of tricky because there's really nothing... Like, I can move these guys around, but that doesn't help, I don't think. Oh, actually... I wonder... So let's say I played Decoy and I bring this guy back. Then what I could do is you can try spawn extras ball. down here. Okay. That's not going to work. Okay. We're really close to figuring it out. You can try to win them all, but you won't. So we bring him out. One boat. Four damage in there. Give me a time. Five damage in here. Abolition. Six You're damage here. here. Now. What we need to figure out. We only have two cards in here. We only have these two guys. So if I bring him out. We're going to get our two. Um... I, I think we can do it with the decoying one of these guys back to our hand. So we would go... Go like this. What? Who dares? Okay, so there's both of these guys. We're going to play one down here. I'm so this is one damage. Play the second one here for two damage. Then we do a decoy for three. There we go. Bring this guy back and play him on this turn here. Oh, that is cool. That is so tricky. Okay, so these puzzles are going to be like... We're going to actually have to really think through them and kind of experiment. That took me about four tries. I'll probably just edit it down so it's less uh, repetitive for you guys. But, uh, yeah, that is really neat. Oh, okay. So we ran into that one where we had to deal with boulders. And I like that there seems to be, at least right now, a lot of variety. Thanks. Now, I wonder how the morale would impact these little challenges, or if that would be completely separate. Report, my lady, a monster has defiled one of the tombs laid waste to sacred graves. Bones litter the floor. Your treasures, enough to fill our coffers. A war is on, your grace. Surely the dead have no need for it, right? What's dead is dead. Find a cart, load the riches. Makes everybody upset. Uh, no further desecration shall befall this place. Leave the treasures... Seal the tomb, but we're already at max. I shall weigh the issue for now. We must carry on. So we either uh, we either take gold and go back to like neutral, which I think is fine, um, or lose wood and get nothing, or just do nothing. So I kind of like how this is presented because even though we take the morale drop, it puts everything at like a normal um, for all of the cards. There's no impact. So we'll take the gold in that kind of situation, I think.
Can we go back here? Oh, yeah, man. Man, look at this! We're all over the place. We don't need to scout. I think we can just be extra diligent. Found another chest. Congratulations, you can use this avatar border in the Gwent multiplayer game. Thank you. Will do. Okay. Now, we're going to actually head in through this area and see what's going on. I want to see what this battle is, this locked item. Your Majesty, you return. Our prayers have been answered. Your Majesty, you return. Our prayers... If we wanted to jump back and forth anywhere, that's where we could do it. Oh, wait a second now. Hold on. Yeah, treasure. Exactly. I remember that waterfall. Discovered a card that can be used in the Gwent multiplayer game, the Strays of Spala. Okay, this gives us a kind of a look at them. We heard about the fact that they're wearing um, these masks and stuff, so... It's cool to get an actual visual representation. Let's do a little blast in this area. As long as we're finding like two or three things from that, it's pretty good. Time heals all wounds, they say, that memories fade. That the nightmares would end and my pain would cease. Yet eight years have passed since I left the world behind. Not but prayer, confession, and reflection. I wonder still how my life might have been different had I refused that last mug of ale. Had I noticed the child. Had I pulled back on the reins more quickly. Oh, I prayed for forgiveness once. Now I pray only for an end. Got drunk and hit a kid. Oh, man. May it come swiftly. There's a key. Okay, so... We can at any point go into here. Into our camp. Hermit's key. So we don't know exactly what this unlocked. We saw that there was a locked item on the map uh, to the south down here. Maybe that's what it is. Oh, never mind. This will be it. Oh, a whole bunch of gold. Now, what do we have in front of us? Just a point of interest, but... Oh, look at this! This is the strays. The bandits had pitched camp in this the is the east. Wood. Spirits buoyed by the wine they'd stolen from the cloister cellar. The brigands had not posted sentries. Another round to the sisters! <laughs> Jeez. Neve's soldiers were eager, insistent. The desecrators would be punished. Yet only the queen could order the assault. So it's kind of a matter of, do we feel like we're strong enough to do it yet? Withdraw, move on, or order, the, order your force to attack the bandits. It's... I don't know. Let's... You know I what? Let's do it. These strays on a leash. Spat the queen, spurring her horse. Two arms! Follow me! Tankards clattered to the ground as the strays reached for their weapons. The brigands would not even fathom giving up without a fight. Okay. So I imagine... Prevent three gold wagons from escaping. Had the brigands chosen to hide in the dense forest to station a guard, this battle might never have come to pass, and they might have slipped away with their prize. Alas, they were drunk on victory and confidence. Or perhaps, perhaps the gods, thirsty for vengeance on the blasphemers, had dulled their vigilance. So we need to prevent three gold wagons from escaping. Okay. At the beginning of a round, you can redraw up to six cards. Get rid of the cards from your hand that you don't wish to play. I mean, we have no idea. Choose a card to redraw. Thing is, we don't know what the rules of the game are, really. So let's just see. 
I think we can start with this guy. Ah, and we have our leader go, ability. Got a death oh, wish. I see. Damage a unit by five. If it's on a row with fire, damage all units by five. Plunder-filled wagon. After two turns, on turn start, escape. And it's got nine armor. So we need to figure out how we're going to uh, get damage done. And so those are the cards that we should be prioritizing. Play the top blitz unit from your deck. The number of times an order ability can be used. Um, we need cards that do damage. Damage a unit by the number of cards in this row. So on two light infantry on the right. So it seems like, God, in my opinion, we need to oh get God, as many God, cards out there as we can. Prevent three gold wagons from escaping. So maybe this one will go, but... My favorite cut of lamb, the shank. And he's going to keep bringing in these guys, which damage the unit by five. We can boost him to keep him alive uh, so that we can get out more damage. I'm thinking maybe we let this wagon go and we just try and stop future wagons. If we bring out these drummers, again and again and again. then they can cause more cards to come out as well. Bigger they are, easier they are to touch. Okay, so they're throwing us around a little bit, which is fine. Play the top blitz unit from your deck. Army's a waste of time for one like me. So being that that's an ability, we should be able to keep going. Left, yeah. right, left, right. Thing about slings, they hide well. Okay. So I actually feel like we're kind of on the right path here to do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. We need to deal eight, technically. So I think what we'll do. How many loyal abilities do we have out here? None right now. But what we could do is boost him, just so he doesn't die. I mean, these guys are targets too, so if they really want to kill them, they can. Um, I think if we do one more turn and then play Arbalist, then we're really, really strong. Um, or we can do these. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, here we go. You can try to win them all, but you won't. Oh, is this... Is this maxed out? Can you have a max number of people on this row? Looks like it. So let's move this down. There we go. Okay. Now when they bring these out, Stick up. pretty Cut good targets for us. Now! now what is this guy? Deploy is going to mark a unit, which is this guy. After three turns on turn start, switch its power with this unit's power. Hmm. I don't know if that makes a big difference to us. Uh, we're gonna switch one of these down. Bring in the Arbalist. You can pay the toll in one of two ways. In silver or in blood. But now how do we 
get damage out. What do we have in here? Hmm. Because these guys are our only damage cards, these arbalists. We kind of just have to hope that we draw one. We don't have any charges that we need to deplete. Unless we wanted to bring in more blitz units, but we don't really need that. Let's just bring these guys out. So he's gone. Damn. See if he's had any coin in his pockets. Or his own. So I think that knowing now what we know of how this works. We should be able to handle it next time, I think, but only having two arbalists is kind of interesting. These things are going to get swapped. Huh. Company, forward march. Oh, oh, these count as blitzes. Okay. There we go. The arbalists count I didn't realize that they had the blitz type. There, that's the key. That is the act. That's the key. That is the key. Um, okay, well. I guess we'll do this and take damage on this one, which I think is the mark here. These guys all have him marked, but... Okay, I didn't realize that these guys were blitz Don't unit types, that. so that's that's how we got to figure this out. Infiltrator. After two turns on turn start, boost self by the power of the unit on the right, then move to the opponent's side. Oh, nice. Okay. So here's what we can do. Play the top blitz card. Summon all copies of this unit. Uh-oh. Because the problem is our board's going to be full now. For and we won't be able to play any more of the, uh, of the Arbalists. See? Okay, so that's the, that's the key to this, though. We'll just do this, boost this guy up, and we kind of need him to leave. Alright. But we don't have the, the counters to be able to do it. It's possible. See, if I deploy her, though, again, we're going to be full. Tell me you jest. But we figured out the, the way to win, so we'll probably have to fight again. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Let's give it another go. We want to bring out cards that can pull from our deck. This guy doesn't add a lot other than being something for maybe the wagon. Summon all copies of this card. That's good. This guy, we want to be able to play cards from our deck. This basically gives us three cards right off the bat. Um, the tonic we don't need. Replenishing charges is good. Summon all copies of this unit. We don't need two of these. These we want to be able to call out with 
the charges, I think, because... Yeah. Let's get rid of the medic, I think. It's a random ally from the graveyard. It's, a, it's definitely something on the board that helps us with the Arbalist count. Hmm. Okay. Okay, the other thing is this banner we can move um, to other rows if we want. And their cards that they bring out, they deal like a bunch of damage at the beginning. So I'm going to start with this guy because I think it was dealing, right. what, five damage? Left. So right. this guy should survive that. And then he can call out other Blitz units. My favorite which we've lamp. since realized. So there it is. Now, if I... Let's see. Okay, what we could do is we could move, we could deploy this. So I'm going to I'm going to switch this up to here using his ability. I'm going to bring this guy in. Tiny vessels, hungry like a wolf I am. Play the top blitz unit from my deck. Ah, unfortunately, it's not an arbalist. Be reaping black clad heads. If that would have been an arbalist, that would have been nice. Looking to dance, mate. Okay. Now, this guy is going to get away. We can't kill him on this turn, I don't think. So. Let's start bringing out the Wagenberg so we can build up some armor. And we'll have to go after the other ones in the deck. You can pay the toll in one of two ways. In silver. Regret. These swaps, they don't they don't bother me at all. There's no wagon out here, so we don't need to play our Arbalists. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll summon all copies here to build up armor on the wagon. Okay, so there we go. There's our next wagon. Now them swapping us around is a little bit annoying. Yes. So I think... Actually, if we bring this in, we should be able to do it. So there's one wagon down. We still have charges here for three damage. And we're placing the armor, and then we have swaps available. Okay. I can deal four. I need to do ten. So four and then six for ten would work. Plus it'll kill this swap card, which doesn't really make a big difference because this is the mark that they're switching. One Okay. See if he's had any coin in his pocket. And then depending on if they play any of these slingers that swap us all around, we can kill this guy in the next two turns. Give me a time. You might have got away had you not been falling so damn much. Abolista, your command. There we go. Did they, did they mark each other when they were bringing these guys in? No, I don't think so. These two are marked. Now, how many did we get? To do. I don't know how many we got. Give one charge to units with depleted order. I don't have any more of these drummers. I thought that was three. 
We likely still have to win, too. Okay, so here's what we do. We're gonna play this guy here again and again to, and again. to be able to call out next time, and hopefully it's an Arbalist. Move this guy to the other row. Um, we should use this. I think we'll boost the uh, the Wagenberg. Because it gives the extra point of armor. The spy. Boost self by power to the one on the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Her Majesty knows what she's doing. Gonna deal damage back here. Top Blitz card, unfortunately not the one we wanted. Army's a waste of time for one like me. Hmm. Ever have a storm knock out one of your teeth? Okay, so we did hit three. I was like, I was wondering if I lost count, but we did get the three. It just doesn't end right away. Whew, win a non-puzzle battle with less than 20-something. Okay, that is really the intense. Queen's company defeated the bandits and recovered the loot. Silver chalices, reliquaries lined with mother of pearl. Gold embroidered robes. The priestesses would be grateful to have their treasures returned, Your Grace. Oh, cool. They would pray out of for your victory. Reynard opined. Yet, you could also keep the silver, <laughs> expend it on the war effort. And who's yeah. to say which, prayer or coin, would be more useful? So, prayer likely gives us um, a morale boost, which I don't think is that huge. Because there's a lot of ways to be able to do that. Um, but I always think about, if we give them this stuff back, maybe they'll help us in the future. We're finding a ton of loot anyways. Hard so I'm going to return the it. Realm now endures, the Queen said, after a pause. And hope that it Yet pays off can't justify down a lapse the road. In principles. No. We must defend them all the more. Meave ordered everything returned to the priestesses. All of it. Down to the last Gulden. Moved by the Queen's gesture, some of the novitiates joined Meave's ranks, aiming oh. to bring succor to any Lyrian wounded in battle. Queen and company rode off with no gold to show for their toil, but most certainly richer in spirit. Interesting. So now we've got the Field Medic card, which we didn't have in the deck before. This card has been added to your army and can be found in the command tent. We had it in, like, their special decks, but that was about it. And we still get these spoils, too, so... My dear strays, once you've relieved the pious priestesses of their unnecessary baubles, make your way south to the estate of Lord Clayton. Word Scott round he's raised quite the sum of the dowry of his not-so-comely daughter. But can love truly be built upon a mound of coin? I think not. Let's save the poor lad from an unhappy marriage, shall we? Your Duke of Dogs, Earl of Mutts, High King of Huckleberries, his trampy highness, his sparky lordship, G. Sure, you can. So we know where they're the headed next. His dog, tie his four legs together, but you'll not stop him from lashing out and biting. <laughs> He's howling. You've bested us, I, but you'll not find the Duke of Dogs near as easy prey. Oh no. <laughs> Your best is okay. Well, handled. Definitely handled business there. 
I'm thinking a lot of um, special battles like that are going to take at least one just test. And then like a real go where you're able to employ the strategy from what you learned. Your Majesty, the Strays of Spala slaughtered the entire village. Witnesses claim folk had refused the brigands' aid. Have we the coin to give these poor f souls a proper burial? Yeah, we can do this. Again, like, in this scenario, I don't know if there's longer consequences. It's a Witcher game, so you think, yeah, maybe that'll come back to us. There, we already had max morale, so you could say that it's a waste of 50 gold. It might be, but, you know, sometimes it just feels good to do that. What's this out here? Hello. I also saw something up here. Ah, it's some wood over on this side. Might as well take it. Okay, so. I guess we'll head down in this direction. Towards this battle. Sounds a little bit more traditional. Actually, let's run through this side because there's some area that I don't think we sent our scouts to. So we might find a few things. Like there's some wood here, but it's on the other side. Whoa. Hello. Is it curious how priestesses so earnestly implore others to put their faith in the goddess's protection, yet surround themselves with walls? Nine feet tall, nearly three thick, made of solid stone. A better guarantee of safety than even the most fervent of prayers, no doubt. Given the area in which they choose to erect their temple, this was probably for the best. All right. Okay, so. How do we want to tackle this? Um, let's see. This is a pretty good combo with the Wagenberg and the Scytheman. So the Wagenberg, uh, if we give the leader order, gets the armor, and then these guys both benefit from the boost. We don't have anything in the graveyard, so having this early doesn't matter. This combos nicely with the Wagenberg as well. The Arbalist we don't really want to play until we can boost up that row. The Tonic I don't think we need yet. Give one charge to units with depleted order. We probably want to save this card. Play a copy of each adjacent unit from your deck. Probably save as well. We have three rounds we want to be going through. Uh, this is a good combo. We can redraw maybe one of these. Don't need both of these. So there we go. All right. Now, let's see what we got going on. Rabbit Forktail. Um, after four turns, on turn start, consume the lowest units. So he stays on the board if he's not killed. Consume ED unit and boost by its power. If it's on the battlefield, destroy it. If in a hand or deck, move it to the graveyard. If in graveyard, move it from the game. Okay. And boost by its power. So kind of like a lifesteal type ability. Um... Okay, let's bring out the Wagenberg. Harpy. On this turn's end, spawn one Harpy Egg. Death Wish. Trigger this ability. Okay. On this turn's end, you just spawn a Harpy Egg. When you die, spawn a Harpy. Oh, the Harpy Egg spawns a Harpy. Oh, okay. So it's like this cycle. Interesting. And then with this guy, where he consumes the lowest units... Okay, so we have a... Okay. Wow. That is interesting. That is interesting. Now, I wonder, if we played this guy... Spawn two light infantry on the right. Can't take it. So he gets the armor from that. I could boost and give four, and then we can kill off this front row. Do 
Oh, okay. With her cooldown, so every time we use this ability, her cooldown, so it's on cooldown three and then two and then one. Is that how this works? I didn't really put that together before. Okay, so three turns. So there's that's this first turn, and then two more. Now this is just gonna spawn another harpy. I almost wonder if like we just save this. Let's see. Oh yeah, yeah, no, because when you kill these, it spawns another harpy. But if she just keeps playing harpies, these just keep coming out. But we can just wipe one of them, right? So, and this thing can move as well. And if this moves, does he get the armor benefit? Yes, he does. Wow. Okay. This thing is going to consume in two turns and grow. So what if we kill him off? I could Arbalist and hit this back line with the uh, Wagenberg and that thing would be dead. Or I can just double Arbalist. I can Arbalist once this turn, it goes down to one, Arbalist again, and he dies. And then we can clear a row with this if we need to. I'm a monster. So kill him. This round's looking good, but we are playing a lot of cards. Oh. Consume the three lowest allies. So he consumes all the eggs, making more harpies. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. I'm going to play here. I'm coming, I'm coming. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he's up to nine. You can wipe out this front row. But I think we just let, let this sit there as like a ticking time bomb. Yeah, so he's done. So he's like, okay, fine. I, all I need to do is... I just destroyed this front group, and we should have enough, and then we move on to the next round. Because these cards are all going to go, right? These are going to turn into two more harpies, but it should still be enough. Right? Oh, I have to play a card as well, don't I? We're gonna lose a bit of the bonus from boosting, but I have to play a card My in the round. And how, but these damn boots are killing me. Okay. So these things all go. We start fresh, we still have the banner. Do we have another wagon? I wonder. The graveyard. Yes, yeah, so we, we have another wagon in the deck, I'm pretty sure. When we play this, it's a random ally from the graveyard, so it's not amazing. He's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 14 cards left, and I have 17. Hmm. What I'm trying to figure out is, like, we don't want to commit too much to this hand. Is this a Blitz card? The the uh, the Wagamert is not a Blitz card. So let's put this out here. Left, right, left, right. Mind you, this does give us card draw, which could help later. So what we want to try and do is just get him to deplete his hand as much as he possibly can. 
And maybe this round we play our... Our Scytheman? It's so hard to stop this cycle. I'll play one Scytheman here. There's a time to reap, a time to sow, and a time to die. And we'll start this. Okay, so you know what I think is ha Okay, so this is how this card works. I mis-explained it here, but... With the cooldown is normally three, but because this is out here, we, uh, the cooldown is actually only two turns. So that's why that's happening. Consume the three lowest allies. Hmm. I'm gonna go another one. I... Slizzard. Every turn on turn start, increase counter by one and damage a random enemy by two. Death Wish. Multiply this unit's counter by three and damage unit by that amount. One goes Let's do this. We're in the lead here, so maybe we can just take it. We could just full commit. Strengthen this guy a bit. And then the loyal bonus on both of them. We'll see. Maybe he pulls off something really gnarly. So he's all in on this one card. We are still in the lead. My thing is that the problem we're going to have is that we're going to run out of cards, but if we can get him to play through three more cards here, we still have more for the last round. Carny battles. Hungry like a wolf, I am. Move a random enemy to the row opposite this unit and damage all enemies on it by one. Ooh, okay. Good for you. Yeah, I think I think that's the play. Ah, should have listened to me, old lady. We'll go here. Ah! And this drummer, even if we need to, we can we can play that. Transform all Harpy Eggs into Harpies and boost self by three. We're still ahead. I'm going in. What do you want of me? Got the light infantry. Put this guy up you here. Try to win them all, but you won't. Again and again and again. That's going to be about it for us. But still, he's really whittled down here. He's still got to play a few cards. Okay, so now we go nine versus five. There's the Wagenberg. Hmm, that is not a very good draw. Ah, I should have boosted right there. It's my bad. Yes. 
Okay. He's only got one card left. We got this. We deal one to each of these. And we play a tonic. There we go. Cool. Okay, I think we played that well. It's tough, man. It's tough, tough, tough. Lots of stuff from here. Fortune smiles upon us. Those priestesses bought my story, blubbering and all. They accepted me as a pupil, but getting me hands on the cellar key was the tricky part. Still, I've gotten it now, too. They've riches stacked to the ceiling. Gods be praised indeed. Wait for me tomorrow night at the foot of the embankment at the south wall. I'll carry what I can manage. Keep an eye out. Probably just a wives' tale, but I got word some sort of nastiness has taken root in the wood. Wait, I think we just found it. So, he's talking about taking this from the priestesses. Riches stacked to the ceiling. Gods be praised. Wait for me tomorrow night at the foot of the embankment at the south wall. So we'll have to remember that. Or just go back there and see if that's in that location. Okay, cool. I think what we'll do here is uh, we'll probably take a break. Oh, does this actually show... Oh, is it this south wall? Oh, okay. Oh, all right, cool. That's fine. Uh, we'll take a break here. When we come back, we'll keep trucking and likely head into the next uh, main area. But there's so much you can do in here. It's actually crazy. It's crazy. I still have some stuff up here. It's crazy, man. There's so much to do. Uh, but this is really fun. So, yeah. Hope you guys are enjoying. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.